Hi everyone, John Paul Briones here from In Motion Hosting, and thank you for joining us for another video in our cPanel series. Today I'm going to show you how to back up your website files in cPanel. Begin by logging into your cPanel. If you don't know how to do that, a pop-up will come up on the top right of the screen. Click that to go to our full video on how to log into your cPanel. Once you've logged in successfully, we're going to go down to the file section and we're going to click the backups link here. That'll bring you to the backup page. In this case, since we're downloading your website files, it's considered a partial backup. So in the partial backup section, we're going to actually click this home directory button. This will download all of your website and email files that are stored in the server. This will not download your database. If you're interested in making a database backup, a pop-up will come up on the screen. Go ahead and click that to go to our full video on how to backup your database. But at this point, let's go ahead and click the home directory button. Notice out how it begins backing up the file immediately. And keep in mind, the amount of time this takes to complete will differ based on the size of your website, the amount of files. For example, if there's a lot of files and, and they're large, it would take longer to download. Once it's finished, I'm going to click this and go to Show in Folder. This is the Chrome browser, so this may differ if you're using a different browser. Notice the file has the name Backup. It's got my primary domain, in this case example.com, and then it's got the date that the backup was generated. At this point, you could take this file, you could store it on a thumb drive, or even burn it to a CD or disk drive if you want to store it for long term, which is what I recommend doing, is storing this somewhere, in case you ever need to, to, to bring it back. One of the benefits of using a partial backup of the home directory is that you can easily restore this on your own. If you want to know more information about restoring a backup, a pop-up will come up on the screen, Go ahead and click that to go to our full video on how to restore a home site backup. Thank you for joining us for another video in our cPanel series. Feel free to like this video or comment below so we can bring you more great videos in the future. Did you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? There's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.